a simple do-it-yourself face mask. The first step is to mark the spots for the elastic. These go one half inch from the bottom and top of each side. The elastic will tug on your square if you pin both sides at the beginning, so I like to pin only one end for now and anchor the other end as I sew. Finish pinning together both squares with right sides together. Sew together leaving a 2 inch opening at the bottom. These are marked by the red needles. Use a 3 8 inch seam allowance and be sure to backstitch at the beginning and end of every stitch for durability. Clip the corners, turn right side out, and press. This part is optional, but you can add a 6 inch pipe cleaner. Fold and twist the ends, then place it inside and pin it at the top where the nose will be. It's a little extra work, but I gotta say, I liked it. This is going to be the hardest part, but it's not too bad. You pin and press three tucks horizontally along the mask. To make the pleat, I just pinched about a half an inch and folded it downward. You can use the gray guidelines on the printable pattern by marking them at the beginning, but the main thing is to keep all the pleats going in the same direction. The mask should be five inches tall when it's completed. The last step is to top stitch the edge of your mask using two parallel stitches. Then you're all done.